Now we start with the quadrant geometry second part. Here we will describe some formulations. First is section from the Let A B is a nine segment X one Y one X two Y two P is any point with an A B alpha beta divide AB into two two parts AP and BP let this is M1 M2 then alpha is equal to x coordinate alpha is equal to M1 x2 M2 x1 upon M1 plus M2 and beta is equal to m1 y2 m2 y1 m1 y2 plus m2 y1 upon m1 plus m2 so this is the first formula section formula now we have midpoint formula A B is a line and P is a midpoint. And this is X1 Y1, X2 Y2. And P is a midpoint, therefore the ratio is 1 is to 1. And hence the point alpha beta, the midpoint alpha is equal to X1 plus X2 upon 2 and beta is equal to y1 plus y2 upon 2. So this is a midpoint formula. Similarly, we can find the area of the triangles. For example, let ABC is a triangle. The coordinates are x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 then the area is given by half this is a short formula write down this x1 y1 then x2 y2 x3 y3 and repeat this here x1 y1 now this is equal to half. We first collect this, this, this and this. So x1 y2 plus x2 y2 y3 plus x3 y1. Then minus this, this and this. y1 x2 plus y2 x3 plus y3 x1 so this is the formula of area of triangle similarly suppose we have to find the area of a quadrilateral whose coordinates are x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 x4 y4 then area of 
quadrilateral is equal to same in similar manner x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 x4 y4 and then repeat this x1 y1 so this is the area of L over M. We can extend it like this. This into this plus this into this plus this into this, this into this, subtracting this, this, this and this. We get the same thing. For example, is equal to half x1 y2 plus x2 y3 plus x3 y4 plus x4 y1 minus y1 x2 plus y2 x1 x3 plus y3 x4 plus y4 x1 so this is the area of a quadrilateral And now we take some questions. Suppose we have to find, we have to prove that ABCD is a parallel. The points are minus three five, five minus six, four three, six four sorry, and four three. We have to prove show that this is a parallel. Join this and join this. As we know by the definition, if the diagonals, if ABCD is a parallelogram, then diagonals bisect. So O should be the midpoint of AC and BD both. Let us see what happens. Midpoint O of AC is equal to minus 3 plus 6 upon 2 x1 plus x2 upon 2, y1 plus y2 upon 2 and this is 5 plus 4 upon 2 so this comes out to be 3 by 2 and this is 9 upon 2 and similarly we can find midpoint of <coughs> B, BD is equal to 5 plus 4 upon 2 and minus 6 plus 3 upon 2 is equal to 9 upon 2 and minus 3 by 2 and so A, B, C, D is not a parallelogram. Why? Because O of AC is not same as O of BD. If same is the same, we can say that this parallelogram is Now we take another question. ABCD is a rectangle. The coordinates of ABCD are these are the diagonals. This is 0, 0, this is 4, 0, 
and this is to be found that this is x y and 0 minus 3 this is O so this A B C D is rectangle and therefore A C is equal to B D and hence the midpoint of AC is the same as midpoint of BD. So let us see, apply the same midpoint O of AC is equal to x plus 0 upon 2 and y plus 0 upon 2. And similarly, midpoint of BD is equal to 4 plus 0 upon 2 and minus 3 plus 0 upon 2. If ABCD is a rectangle then these two points must be the same and therefore implies that x upon 2 is equal to 2 4 upon 2 is 2 and y upon 2 is equal to minus 3 by 2 and hence x is equal to 4 and y is equal to minus 3. So this coordinate is 4 and minus 3. Okay. Let us take another question. We have a graph. Here this is one tree, this is a triangle ABC. A is one tree, this is minus one zero and this is four zero. We have to find the area of triangle, so area of triangle ABC is equal to the same method half 1 3 minus 1 0 4 0 1 3 now we solve this 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 is equal to half this is 1 into 0 is 0 minus 1 into 0 is 0 4 3 are 12 minus this 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 3 minus 1 is minus 3 plus 0 and plus 0 is equal to half 12 minus plus 3 15 upon 2 the area is 15 upon 2 all right next Centroid of a triangle. That ABC is a triangle. First of all, we should define median. What is median? Line joining the vertex to the midpoint of opposite side is called median. So this is median. And this again is median. And as we know, medians of a triangle are concurrent. That means are to a single point. This single point is what what is called as centroid. So centroid is G. If this point is x1 y1, this is x2 y2, and this is x3 y3, then we have to find the coordinate of the centroid so G. So G is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 upon 3 y1 plus y2 plus y3 upon 3 and this is the formula to find out the center of a triangle next Let us suppose ABC is a triangle.
A is 0 minus 1, B is 0, 3, and C is 2, 1. D is a midpoint, A D is a median. We have to find length of AD. So first of all, since G is a midpoint, we have to find D first. So D is equal to 0 plus 2 upon 2, 3 plus 1 upon 2, this is 1 and this is 2. So this is 1, 2. Now we can find by distance formula AD is equal to under root x2 minus x1 1 minus 0 the whole square plus 2 plus 1 the whole square is equal to under root 1 plus 9 under root 10 so this is under root 10 so as such we can find we can solve a lot of questions by this point geometry, what is called as point geometry. Coordinate geometry is point geometry, in fact.